Those tweets. It's been fairly quiet, at least on Christmas Day. But as you've seen, the president's been tweeting about the FBI. He's been tweeting about his deputy director, Andrew McCabe. Why is that the right message right now for Donald Trump and Republicans? Well, yeah, there's two, two issues here. First of all, yes, the president does have his own unique communication style, which I don't think any of us have seen the use of Twitter deployed so broadly as the president does. But on the investigation, uh, that investigation is totally off the rails. And, and, and I'm really concerned. But he's not tweeting about the, the investigation, but he's tweeting about his deputy director. He's tweeting about FBI agents, Congressman. Yeah. Do you think that's appropriate yeah, sure. for the president? I I'm, I'm, I'm very concerned that, that the DOJ and the FBI, uh, whether you want to call it deep state or what, are kind of off the rails. When you look at what that Strozik guy was texting, you look at what that uh, Orr guy talking to the uh, dossier uh, Op, uh, Clinton op research people, and then this McCabe guy's wife takes six hundred thousand dollars from uh, Clinton related sources while while he's while she's running for state senator. Well, Congressman, you just called the FBI and the DOJ off the rails. Fundamentally, how is that something that you're okay with talking? Here, how does that not sort of undermine the work that these agencies are doing? I think the American people have, have very high standards for our government agencies, and to see people like these uh, are those agencies not uh, living up to examples, those standards. Well, those aforementioned examples are really, really nerve-wracking to me, and undermine my confidence that the agencies uh, don't respect the Constitution and will will not put the ends before the means. That's a pretty broad brush you're painting with. Yeah, but we've seen a lot of uh, ends before the means culture, both out of the Obama administration, out of Hillary Clinton, you know, with her $84 million of potentially illegal campaign contributions or the Clinton Foundation Uranium uh, One. Uh, we've got a, people, people need a good, clean government. Do you think people don't have a good clean government? Because, Congressman, I've got to let you go, but I guess the point I'm trying to get at, there are those who look at comments like the ones that you're making and say Republicans are working to essentially try to discredit the Department of Justice and thus discredit the Russia investigations. Is that not what you're doing? No, I don't want to discredit them. I just I would like to see the, the directors of those agencies purge it and say, look, we've got a lot of great agents, a lot of great lawyers here. Those are the people that I want the American people to see and know the good work's being done, not these people who are kind of the deep state. Language like that, Congressman, purge, purge the Department of Justice? Well, I, I think the, that Mr. Strozik could be purged, sure. Uh, Congressman Francis Rooney, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you for joining